how much time do you think it'll take for you to get back out on that field? Ah, uh, it's a good question. Uh, let me look around and think. <laughs> do you have a date in mind, though? Do you say, hey, I hope I'm back or I think I can be back by June? I want to say April, but uh, we all know that's not going to happen. So, like I said, you know, it's a waiting game to see what they're going to say, what I'm allowed to do. But, I mean, I've been hitting and taking ground balls. I do my one-hand drills and stuff. So, I think uh, when it's time to go, I think I should be, like, pretty quick on uh, getting the uh, game mode. Injury aside, were you pleased with the way last season went for you? No. Because I always say, like, I always want to get better, get better. So, uh, you know, some numbers had some good jumps, but I always say, like, you can do it better. So I always strive to be better self uh, the, the more I play the game. But I know it, not every year is going to be the same, but it's, uh, it's a progress that you need to trust and just go there. It's a long process. You say be a good teammate, but there are two guys that stand to your left and your right that think very highly of you in Glaber Torres and Miguel Andujar. Have you enjoyed that role of being the mentor? For oh, those yeah. You know, <laughs> it's, it's funny because uh, when I came up, you know, with the Reds and I had Scott Rowland on the side, I was talking to Vado a little bit with Brandon Phillips. They always talk to me and, uh, you know, try to keep me in the right way. And then funny story about Scott Rowland, because uh, when I came up, I used to always wear my hat just a little bit like on top. Mm -hmm. And every time before a game, he'd come, he'd fix the hat. He's like, this is how you wear the hat while you're playing the game. I was like, well, I'm sitting on a bench. He's like, well, you still got to, like, have the hat on right. So he did that, like, three days in a row on me because I kept sitting in like that. And then the next day, the fourth day I saw him, I was like, yep, I remember. And since then, you know, just, those are the little things that you learn. So now I'm in that situation, and I talk to them, and I'm like, let them know, like, what can happen, like, during the game or before the game and, like, all that stuff. So prepare them really good for the game. And if they have questions, I'm always open to answer them and to know what I can and give, it to, uh, give them some knowledge. All right, you got to spill some details, though. Was there a moment like that with either Andujar or Glaber that you said, <laughs> no, 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 this is not the way we do things up here? <laughs> no, they actually, they were, they were pretty prepared uh, for uh, the big market for New York. And uh, just, they just asked questions, like, if they were supposed to do this or not, and, and just go with it, you know. They try to get them into a routine. And uh, they got stuck with it, and it helped them pretty much. Were you impressed with what those two guys were able to do? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, you, you hear the talk about, like, uh, Andujar and Glaber, what they can do. But when you see it, it's like two young guys playing, and they're like, wow. You know, it, it's, just, it's just, just a feel if you get And they help the team pretty much. So that's what you want from a team, for everybody to come together and be, uh, be one. You've already come a long way in trying to get back. What do you think will be the most difficult part? through this final stretch of, of getting yourself back on the field for real? The difficult part? I don't look at anything as difficult because I always try to try to get to it no matter what. So uh, I won't say anything's going to be difficult, but it's the process that's what I got to learn to get back easy instead of just going hard at it like right away. I think that's what it told me. Just got to go like pace by pace and go with that.